guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Justin's Tavern. As we're back at it again, another brand new video for you guys. So hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Hey, you know what it is. It is sober October. So this is one week of no alcohol for me. All right. And we're only doing this through the month of October, right? So I just kind of wanted to say it's been an interesting week. As far as making funny video, making a, a zero alcohol video, as far as like a beer, it was really interesting. We played some Overwatch, you guys seemed to really like that. We tried a completely talking stream, tried that out. This week has been adventurous for me none the least. Um, I do want to go out on here and say uh, it has changed some things this week for me, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So, with that being said, guys... We're going to jump in it. All right, so first things that I've noticed straight off the bat for being sober for a week, right? And what it's done to my body personally. One, I've felt like I've been more hungry. I feel like I want to eat more. i got to bring in those calories that beer and booze was putting in my body. Um, so with that lack of calorie intake... And I'm still burning the amount of calories at work and doing all this other stuff that I do. I'm not getting those calories. So I feel like I'm more hungry. I want to eat more. But I'm still watching my portions because, guys, remember, I'm, on my, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm working on that as well. We're still zero sugar, right? Um, I read a thing that said you're going to start craving. In week two-ish into three, I should start craving more sugars to retain all that. So hopefully we get past that, uh, get through those headaches. I'm sure there's coming up. Um, some of the other really cool things that I've noticed is I've had so much more energy. Um, I've been more head forward and headstrong, getting things accomplished, setting goals, and blowing past those things, right? Um, sleep, I think, is the biggest thing for that. Um, he, yeah, it's harder for me to get to sleep and, like, fall asleep as... I always had that issue. Uh, even when I do drink, I have that issue of trying to get to get to sleep, right? Um, but I've had more deeper sleep, more intense sleep, to where I'm waking up refreshed. Last night, I probably only got like four and a half, five hours of sleep last night before work, and I felt completely refreshed. Like, I had slept a full eight hours, nine hours, right? So, I have noticed a huge energy boost in my um, my normal daily levels, right? My sleep schedule is kind of normal. I'll probably be up late tonight and play some games and stuff. But other than that, my sleep has probably been the biggest bonus this week that I've had. Um, clarity has been really good. Um... I think some of the other things that I have noticed is my want to drink as far as I feel like I can't get enough to drink. Whether it's water, uh, energy drinks, my diet drinks, I just feel like I'm not getting enough to drink. Um, so I've been drinking a lot more of uh, my waters and my energy drinks and stuff like that. Um, I just kind of, I don't know if I'm just more thirsty or I'm used to that knack of always like drinking on something, you know what I mean? Um, so I've definitely had that being way more thirsty than usual. Um, I think the biggest thing that's been the hardest so far, which isn't the same for a lot of people, right? I have a bar right here. I have a liquor cabinet here. I got bottles over there. I got booze in the fridge, right? So I feel like seeing it every day right there in front of me is like the biggest urge to like, hey, let's just make a drink or let's just pour up a shot, just a shot. Nobody would know. But I'm keeping up with that integrity of do everything right when nobody, even when nobody's paying attention. And I am proud of myself for fighting through that this week because there's definitely been some times where I'm like, man, I could use a drink or I could use this or that to ease my nerves because like I almost got hit the other day in my truck like it it was close enough to where my sensors were like on and um so I was like come home I almost got hit again on the way home after the accident that happened behind me and it was just a crazy ride home and I was just like my nerves were shot and I really like urged a drink to kind of like because I felt like that would calm me down and I was able to 
passed through that. I haven't. I didn't take any drinks. I didn't take any shots or nothing like that. Um, so it's been a journey this week to see how different it was, which I didn't think that I could not do it. I've done it several times, especially when I deployed. So I know how it is to drop cold turkey and just no more drinks, boom, till November. I know how that is, so I'm okay with it. I'm doing really well. Um, as far as anxiousness goes, I'm less anxious, and I haven't become irritable yet. Um, I know a lot of people say when they do back out or they're slowly weaning off alcohol, they feel more irritable or angry all the time, and I haven't had any of that yet. If anything, I'm more joyful, more passive because of the extra energy that I have in myself. I have the ability to express that outwards, and I think it's been really fun um, seeing how everything transitions. But overall, I'm doing well. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm at 225 pounds right now, uh, and I'm curious to see where we end up by the end of this. If I lose weight, I don't lose weight, or what? what it's going to be. Um, we had the dentist last week, got our teeth all shined up. It's been really good that doing all that. Um, I'm ready for November to get back into these reviews, but I, I really like doing this weekly update. We'll probably do another one next week and see what week two has for us. But here's the one week sober, guys. Let's finish out sober October as strong as possible. If you're out there with me and you're doing this with me, Thank you guys, and I have faith that you guys can do it as well. So till later, Canucks, until always, remember, I'm Justin. Welcome to the Tavern, and I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow for a Monday night stream. It's not going to be Miller Monday, but it'll be a Monday night stream. I'll be playing some video games, but you know what it is. Notification bell, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. It's free. Become part of the family as we're growing every single day. We'll be numbers or knowledge together. Y'all are the best, and I will see you guys next time.